Most people think that Google Anti-Gravity is just another coding AI tool, but I'm going to show you the best 5 secret ways to use it to build mobile applications really fast with AI. And the thing is that these are simple steps, but they're going to supercharge your workflow. One very important way I use Anti-Gravity is to find app ideas and to validate them. I use Anti-Gravity like a second brain. I brainstorm with it, I pitch some ideas, and then I ask if it's a good idea, if it's not, and why would people buy my app? So let me show you how I do it usually. So I go into anti-gravity inside a brand new window and this is what I write. I can write something like this, find me problems that students have on a daily basis. And this is really important because people won't download your app or definitely won't pay for your app if you're not solving a problem. And over here, I'm taking students as an example, but it could be anything like doctors, teachers, teenagers, kids, it could be anything. So you want to find problems for a specific persona and then you want to click the send button and then anti-gravity will be listing all the problems for students. Okay. Okay, cool. So anti-gravity came back with a bunch of different problems. I'm not going to read all of them, but the next step I do usually, this is what I write. Great. Find me app ideas that can solve their problems. As simple as that. So first of all, we asked for problems and then anti-gravity came back with a bunch of different problems for students. And then now that we know about their problems, we can ask anti-gravity about app ideas that can solve the problems above. So now again, I send this and now anti-gravity will be sending back all the app ideas to solve all these problems above. And here it is. Anti-gravity came back with so many app ideas and we have a bunch of different sections and inside each section it came back with a couple of app ideas as you can see over here number one academic and productivity and has three apps over here number two mental health and well-being we have two apps over here and three we have financial four career five social and community so we have all of these app ideas over here so now it's just a matter of looking at all of these app ideas and then picking the best app idea so we can look at the problem and then the solution for example i like this one and mental health and well-being the anti-scroll focus on gamification. The problem, digital distraction, TikTok, real loops. So essentially helping people not to be on TikTok so much. The solution, a hard lock app. And these are very popular right now on the app store and making a lot of money. So we can definitely see that anti-gravity is just not giving us random app ideas. It's actually giving us app ideas that are live right now on the app store. So you could take this app idea and continue brainstorming with anti-gravity and then find out the list of features that you can build out to solve this specific problem for students. Now, another way I like to use anti-gravity to find app ideas and more specifically to validate these app ideas i like to go on my browser inside sensor tower and then find app ideas that are making a lot of revenue and then i take a screenshot and then i go back inside anti-gravity let's open a new conversation and then i paste in this image over here and then this is what i write here's an app that is making a lot of revenue validate me this app idea by finding my target audience and their problems and how is this app idea solving their problems and also why would they pay for this app so with these couple of sentences over here, I can totally validate this app idea that I found on Center Tower and know why people are installing this app and paying for this app. So then with all this information, I could either recreate this app or create something that is similar to it by inspiring myself with this app. So let's click this send button over here and I will get all the validation from anti-gravity. So here it is, anti-gravity came back with all the information. So it's saying that our target audience over here are hobbyists or people that are into spirituality or wellness or maybe teachers, students, professionals that are actually working with rocks and researching these rocks and then over here the core problem the pain points like people don't have all the knowledge of the world about rocks it's saying that in crystal market fakes are common and users are terrified or being scammed so if you have an app like this you can scan the rock and make sure that it is a rock that is valuable and then it shows all the different ways you can solve the problems like scanning the rock and then logs of all the rocks that you saved instant verification education on demand where you could ask questions to an ai bot for example and then it lists all the good reasons on why people would pay for this app and over here it add another section validation metrics so it's showing that this app idea has evidence of success because it's making this amount of money 300k per month so this is not a bad app idea there's a market for it people are willing to pay for it so if you build something like it or something similar to it you might have a lot of potential to build something successful okay so let's say you found your app idea so whether we're taking the students for example or the rock app for example then the next step i personally do is to go and create a plan because building Building an application requires a lot of steps. You have to build the client side, you have to build the back end side, you have to build payment, you have to make sure to upload it to the app store. There is a lot of things. So knowing that we have to build this entire thing, it's crucial that you go inside anti-gravity and ask for it to 
build you a plan to make this entire thing easier so you could go step by step building a client, the backend, payment, analytics, and uploading it to the app store. So let's go back inside anti-gravity and let's take this rock scanner app for example. And this is what you can write. Create me a plan to build this rock scanner app for iOS. I want you to plan out everything, the client side, the backend side, implementing payments and analytics and uploading it to the app store. Make a general plan that does not have any implementation details or code. And this over here is very important because if you don't add this sentence, then anti-gravity will most likely add a lot of code and a lot of details in your plan. And that is not what you want. You want a general plan that just tells you step by step what to do, but you don't want code inside that plan because it's just going to make the file super big and then anti-gravity will have trouble reading that file because we will be using that file to code the app. So now I just sent the prompt and now anti-gravity will be creating the plan for us and as you can see over here it created the plan really really fast and it's saying phase one discovery ui and ux phase two client side development ios phase three backend and ai infrastructure phase four monetization and analytics phase five quality assurance and beta testing and phase six deployment to the app store and so now that we have this plan the next thing i always do with anti-gravity is to go and ask it for a design and what i like to do over here is this i create some really quick wireframe inside figma and then i take these wireframes over here and then send it inside anti-gravity and then ask it for a beautiful design so quickly i create a new tab on figma and then create some really quick wireframes over here as you can see these are very basic these are skeleton designs and then i take an image of the wireframes and then send them inside anti-gravity and then after it's sent this is what i write here are my wireframes of the app i want you to create a beautiful app design based on my wireframes make sure that the style is consistent do not code just create the images and then as simple as that and then you click the send button and now google anti-gravity will be using nano banana to create the images so it's going to look at the wireframes and then create some very nice images as you can see over here it's loading based on the wireframes that we just sent so now it's going to take a couple of seconds and then we're going to come back with beautiful images and here it is as you can see over here we have three images one for taking a picture and then the second one is the loading page and then the third one is the result page of all the information about the rock so if you look at the wireframes over here it's exactly the same you take a picture you have your loading screen and then the result page over here so it's the same thing over here if we look at the pictures we have some really beautiful pictures over here where you could take a picture and then you have the loading page and then over here you have your result page where it shows you all the information about the picture of the rock you just took so this is really cool with a simple wireframe design google anti-gravity came back and used google gemini 3 with nano banana and created all the screens for my specific application so now we have our app idea it's validated and we even have some nice designs about our app so what we can do now is to go and finally code this application and over here to create the best iOS app, you don't want to just go inside anti-gravity and start prompting with it. You can do that, but it's probably not going to work the best because right now anti-gravity is just general. It's a general AI coding platform. So it doesn't have the specific context on building iOS apps the best way. And the best way to solve that is with an agents.md. And this agents.md over here, it's essentially a file that has all the specific context and rules on how to build the best iOS application. So you definitely want this context over here. You definitely want this agents.md. And I create create the best agents.md for iOS and you can grab it inside my school community if you go inside classroom and then click resources and then click iOS agents.md and then simply click download. So after downloading it, you want to go back inside anti-gravity and take your agents.md file and then drag it inside your file explorer. And here it is, the agents.md. As you can see, it's a file with a bunch of different rules. It has so many rules. It has so many specific things that guide anti-gravity to write the best code for iOS. As you can see over here, we're asking it to act like a senior software engineer at Apple to write the best code with the best architecture. Make sure that the code has the best portability and reusability. We're saying over here that the code should have zero technical debt and so many rules over here. You don't have to go through all of it, but just know that this is a very important file that you have to add inside your project. So after you've added it, this is what you want to write. Read my agents.md and build me an MVP of the iOS app. And MVP over here means minimum viable product. So minimum viable product means the version one of your app and the reason why we want to build an mvp is because we don't want to overwhelm the ai we want to make sure that it can create a basic version of the app and from there we can expand it to a version 2 a version 3 with a lot more features and then you would click this send button over here and then your app will look something like this as you can see over here we have 
a camera view over here where you could take a picture but this is the simulator so we can't really scan a rock but you could import a photo so, so quickly this is not the rock scanner app that you're trying to build this is an old app that scans coins and then sends back the information about that coin so essentially the same principle but this is coins for this example so you can imagine we can build the same apps for rocks and here it is as you can see the result page of this coin over here so it's saying the canadian one dollar coin and then it's saying the estimate value the rarity and then about this coin the technical specification and you can imagine the same thing happening for the rock ai scanner app so now i'm going to show you the best final way how i use anti-gravity for mobile development and it is to create app icons so i'm not really sure if people know about this but anti-gravity can create images we've seen that so if we know that anti-gravity can create images then it could also create app icons for your ios app so if you go inside xcode for ios and we click the assets file over here we can see that the app icons are 1020 by 1024 so we have all the information to create an ios app icon so you want to go back inside anti-gravity and this is what you want to write create me an ios app icon for a rock scanner ai app the image should be 1024 by 2024 do not code just give me the image as simple as that and you want to click the send button over here and now anti-gravity is using nano banana to create the app icon and here it is our beautiful app icon for ios and what we can do is click on it and then go on top over here and then right click the tab click on reveal and finder and then copy this image over here and then go back inside xcode and then over here inside your assets file you can paste in your app icon so after building your app with anti-gravity writing all the code and then creating your app icon you would be ready to upload your app on the app store so these were the best ways i use anti-gravity to build mobile applications on ios so i hope you learned something go join my school community to download the agents.md file all for free and i'll see you in the next one